A good night's sleep can make us fresh and ready for the next day. This is how important sleeping is in our everyday life. At least an undisputed sleep of 7 hours is recommended for an adult person, and when it comes to children, more than 7 hours is recommended. Are you lucky enough to get good sleep every night? Have you ever faced the need to consume sleeping pills at any time? Hey people, welcome back to our channel. Newcomers subscribe to our channel for exciting videos and pay attention to the bell icon. Click that too. So we're talking about sleeping, and we even mentioned sleeping pills. Yes, today we'll talk about the advantages and disadvantages of taking melatonin for getting good sleep. Guys, this is a relative topic for everyone, irrespective of age, gender, or profession. Hence, do not skip a single second of this video. Let us see. What is melatonin? Melatonin is a hormone produced by our brains in response to darkness. There is an internal clock inside us, and this circadian rhythm is controlled by the hormone produced by the pineal gland. This same chemical is present in sleeping pills too. Actually, one can only take these medicines under the strict prescription of a certified doctor. Even selling this without a prescription is also legally punishable. Do you know why? It's because taking these sleeping pills more than the prescribed quantity can cause numerous health problems and even death can occur. Sleeping pills can be a silent killer. Many suicide and murder cases have been reported in which these sleeping pills are used to take away lives. Then why are these pills manufactured and sold? Of course, there are reasons. We've said before how much sleeping is essential, but everyone is not that lucky to get this. People under other medications might be deprived of sleep. Those with injuries and pain could never sleep without sleeping pills. Even depressed patients are also prescribed these pills by their doctors. So this is why sleeping pills are being produced and commercialized. In short, melatonin is crucial. Before talking more about melatonin, we have to understand how melatonin works inside a machine called the human body. Every human body produces enough melatonin for sleep on its own. Your melatonin level usually rises after the sun sets and stays high at night. It drops in the early morning, which is why you wake up. That quality of rising at night and disappearing during the day gives melatonin its nickname, the Dracula of hormones. Hormones always act on receptors. Melatonin also acts on receptors in your body to encourage sleep. Adding more melatonin on top of what your body is already releasing might help ensure sound sleep. At the same time, melatonin use is considered safe for most people if it is short term. There is limited research to show that it is effective in promoting sleep. And beyond being ineffective, taking melatonin every night can be harmful too. Understandably, everyone is busy with their careers and lives today. It can be challenging to get enough sleep. Then they'll end up taking melatonin. We've talked about the significance of melatonin, but is it okay to consume melatonin every night? Ask any qualified doctor and no one will recommend daily consumption of melatonin. Sleeplessness is a severe problem that is agreeable, but if it's for the long term, taking these pills every day is not encouraged. The following solution is to find the reason for sleeplessness and go for other alternatives. Patients with certain health conditions might be taking other medications, so such people should never take melatonin. Melatonin can especially react adversely with blood thinners. Moreover, pregnant ladies and breastfeeding mothers should never take melatonin medicines. Talk to your healthcare provider about diabetes or high blood pressure. Melatonin supplements may raise blood sugar levels and shoot up blood pressure levels in hypertensive people who take some hypertension medications. If you take melatonin every night, your body will eventually depend on this medication. Your body gets trained for sleep only if provided with melatonin. That's not good. This can lead to depression and irritability. This also accompanies stomach cramps. Everything is good only up to a limit. This is the same in this case too. Even eating food and drinking water also follows this rule. Really? But we've heard everybody talking about drinking a lot of water daily. But do you know something? If you drink too much water, you will get hyponatremia, which can be life-threatening. Everyone may not tolerate melatonin, as it can lead to daytime fatigue, depressed mood, and residual drowsiness the next day, mainly if doses are higher than 3 mg. So proper dosage should also be considered. A 2017 study that tested 31 melatonin supplements sold at grocery stores and pharmacies found that 26% contained serotonin, another hormone that can cause harmful effects even in low doses. Taking melatonin by mouth does not improve behavior or affect symptoms in people with Alzheimer's disease or simply some form of memory loss, but it might be apparent when the sun goes down in people with these conditions. Taking melatonin does not improve pregnancy rates in females undergoing fertility treatments so melatonin does not support infertility. 
Taking melatonin by mouth will not improve appetite, body weight, or body composition in people with wasting syndrome from cancer. Having melatonin by mouth shortly before resistance, exercise, or cycling enhances performance. Then for how long is it safe to take melatonin? If melatonin for sleep is not helping after one or two weeks, stop using it. Talk with your healthcare provider if your sleep problems still need to be checked. If melatonin does not seem to support, it's safe for most people to take it every night for one or two months. After that, it's better to give it a break and stop and see how your sleep is. It's been used safely for up to two years. Experts only know little about the side effects of the long-term use of melatonin medications. The significant side effects typically include increased dreams, nightmares, or sleepiness. Other side effects of the short-term use of melatonin are headache, tiredness, dizziness, and nausea. It's important to note that melatonin is a hormone and regularly using it can downregulate your own production. Furthermore, initial research have found that melatonin supplementation may negatively affect the duties of other prime hormones like estrogen and male growth hormone. This can eventually badly affect the sexual ability of that person. But you can try various methods to avoid this. First of all, keep your phone aside from you for at least one hour before going to bed. The harmful rays from the phone screen will not help in melatonin production. There are some blue and green lights from these devices. These can neutralize melatonin's effects. If you watch television, be sure you're six feet away from the screen. Turn off bright overhead lights too. It's best to only look at screens after going to sleep. You can read a book. Bedtime reading is an excellent option. Try yoga and meditation for peaceful sleep. You can try shifting from melatonin supplements to other options like meditation, muscle relaxation, biofeedback therapy, and more for your sleep issues. If you find yourself addicted to melatonin supplements or suffer from any side effects, you need to reach out to your doctor. Nature is the best cure. In this case, also, there are other natural supplements for melatonin. Olives, barley, strawberries, cherries, pineapples, oranges, bananas, etc. Melatonin is a hormone that controls our sleep timing. Taking these in supplement form can help stimulate your body clock, but experts agree it should not be consumed only at night. To enrich the sleep quality, you'll want to support the body's natural production of melatonin instead of taking it from external sources, but it can cause side effects, including headaches, dizziness, and nausea. Don't drive or use machinery for 4-5 to five hours after taking melatonin. There are positive effects of melatonin too. We should also include that in this video, or else those taking them will feel depressed. Taking very high doses of melatonin, either as pills or as shot administered by a healthcare worker, along with chemotherapy or other cancer treatments, can reduce tumor size and improve survival rates in some cancer patients. Consuming melatonin pills before bed can prevent migraines in adults and children. It needs to be clarified that melatonin helps to treat migraines. Applying melatonin gel before sun exposure helps prevent sunburn. Taking melatonin by mouth can improve low blood platelet counts associated with cancer. We've talked about melatonin and how it helps in reducing pain, reduces pain during menstruation, intercourse, and while going to the bathroom. We hope you all got a clear idea about the hormone melatonin and the related facts. Various studies show that taking melatonin containing medications is fine only for a limited time, so long-term use is a big no from health experts. What are your comments on this? Share your thoughts in the comments box below. Give this video a thumbs up if you've liked it. We'll meet again in the upcoming videos. Take care. Goodbye.